Hello, this is Peter Newman. I'm a member on the ANSYS student community and we have a member who wants to create some air around the house to do a ventilation study. And they have an image here which shows the house and the air around the house and then uh, a sample simulation result. This uh, house is has a wall thickness and the recommendation is to draw a house with uh, zero thickness walls to make a much smaller model and that's what we're going to do here today. We're going to use uh, space claim and space claim is open here and the first thing I'll do is use the options to change the units from millimeters to meters for a house and also uh, let the grid be one meter sized and now I can draw that house say uh, 20 meters wide by 30 meters long and we'll pull that house up 10 meters tall so it's quite a large well that was six meters let's pull it up 10 so there's a big block and what we want is a window at each end so we just get that by sketching on this face and we'll sketch an opening here of uh, six by six by four and now we have a face that's separate from the wall so repeat that on the other end and we can stare down at that if we like to draw three by four on each side so we have now a, a face on each end of this block uh, what we want is a plane on the bottom so now that's a plane we will use because we're going to put the air around it next using prepare enclosure and pick this solid and say that we want to go on the sides uh, 20 meters out and on the uh, front and back uh, say 40 meters out and uh, for the top and bottom we'll also do 20 meters so there's our enclosure and if we zoom out we can see it <coughs> we don't need any air below ground so we use split by plane the enclosure at that plane to leak the bottom so now we have uh, two solids the air and the house the air inside the house so we're going to want that to behave as a um, shared topology so we go back to the select tool click on the design and here's the shared topology we need to set that to share and that's all we're doing in design in space claim so I'll close that and we'll fire up meshing meshing will read in that geometry and in meshing we'll be naming faces so that they behave in a certain way and if you name a face with the word interior, Fluent will know to let air pass through that face. If you name a face wall, uh, or if you don't name a face, it will be a wall and no air flow can pass through a wall. And uh, you can also name a face symmetry, which means air will flow along there without being dragged to zero velocity at the wall. Um, be like a slip wall. Uh, space claim is, uh, or the mechanical is trying to read in the geometry. So just waiting a minute for that to occur. And then we'll start naming faces. The other two key names are inlet and outlet, which tells fluent. Uh, so if we say the wind is blowing in the x direction, we'll pick this face click on the N key and call that inlet and then we can pick on this face N key outlet now we don't uh, we'll 
pick these three faces with the control key to pick three faces n key and call those symmetry. Um, now we are going to hide faces which is or, or just turn off that body I suppose is the simplest thing. Um, right click and hide. And this face is and control key this face will have a named called interior. That'll allow the air to blow through. All the other faces will be walls and um, we might in fact want to select all and then control deselect the two windows and then call that um, name select house walls. Um, the other wall is the ground around the house. Uh, the house walls includes the ground under the house as well as the roof and the four sides and the roof. Yeah. So let's unhide this show body and we'll um, add to this these six faces one more face and that's the bottom and that'll be house walls and ground if you will um, those are walls where we might want special meshing um, treatment and uh, the special meshing meshing treatment could be to put inflation layers on all the wall on all those faces that are called house walls um, might need to change the 2000 millimeters a two meter si sized uh, element and um, we could refine the mesh so that we have nice small elements around the house using um, body of influence but for now we can put in a, a mesh control that is on the uh, house walls faces and uh, make that smaller elements so this is the essential piece of um, creating a house with windows where the air can blow through it's by letting them be named interior so I think we won't wait for the meshing to complete we'll stop the video here